How's it guys and welcome back to Ultimate Exotics. So in today's video, we're going to go over to our main snake room and have a look at some of our 2018 holdbacks. Um, so these are some of the snakes that we bred out in the 2018 breeding season and we've held back for future breeding stock. Um, you know, we breed a lot of different species of reptiles here at Ultimate Exotics, but these holdbacks that we're going to look at today are going to be our colubrid holdbacks, um, which are going to consist of basically our corn snakes, king snakes, milk snakes, and a few rat snakes. Um, so yeah, let's go and have a look at these snakes. Um, uh, like I said, uh, hold, well, yeah, we have to hold these snakes back. Um, it's a very important part of uh, the long-term breeding plans that we do here. Um, it's so important to make sure that we've got new, strong, unrelated bloodlines coming up for um, our future breeding seasons and our future breeding stock. Um, so it's a very important, important part of the process. Um, and it's also a fun part of the process. Sometimes it's hard to hold everything back uh, because it takes a lot of extra cages and a lot of extra care and feeding, but it, it is essential in the long-term planning uh, when you're breeding a lot of snakes. So let's go and have a look at these awesome babies. Okay, so we're here in our main snake room. Um, so let's go and have a look at these beautiful babies. Uh, well, I say babies, they, they're actually not babies. They're sub-adults now, or shall we say teenagers. Um, and they're growing really nicely and beautiful. So let's check these guys out. Okay, so these are basically um, our grow-out tubs. So it means that they're sub-adult snakes, so they're not 100% ready for um, their full adult size tub, which is these uh, 26 litre Addis tubs. Um, so you can see this size tub is kind of like an intermediate tub, um, at which helps them grow out. And as they uh, reach maturity, we then upgrade them into the 26 litre tubs. So these are the grow-out tubs. We keep them in this really nice rack system. Um, and at the back there we have the heating. You can see the two um, grooves in the rack at the back there that has heating cable sunken in and uh, we then control that um, with a temperature controller at 30 degrees Celsius. And here we have a beautiful uh, butter striped corn snake. Now butter is basically a albino caramel so this is an albino caramel stripe, and that's three recessive mutations. So that is a whole back girl, really pretty. We then have a sunspot motley. It's an albino sunspot motley. And sunspot is basically um, just a variation of the motley mutation. Uh, and it basically just breaks up the pattern so it almost vanishes um down its body but look how beautiful that snake is really pretty looking corn snake and then we have our blizzards and our blizzard is basically it's a albino charcoal um which is what creates a blizzard corn this one does have quite a bit of pattern some have no pattern um, normally as they're all mature they have absolutely no pattern um, but some have a little bit of pattern until they mature. You see this one has less pattern there. Almost no pattern at the moment. And they have that solid red R which is unique to the blizzards. Beautiful corn snake. And then here we have an albino strap. We have a strap snow. We have one, two more blizzards, also a nice white one. Then we have our cave dwelling rat snakes or Rid Ridley's rat snakes. Just so beautiful. These also get super light and develop orange colors as they get older. Just such a beautiful rat snake. Um, albino prairie king snakes. These prairie king snakes are just such a, a hardy, easy to care for species of king snake. They don't get too big either. We just really like them. And then here's a albino kill king looking for a meal. Really pretty snake. And we have then um, some of our high yellow kill kings. He's got an unusual pattern, that's why we kept him back, almost like a, a barren patterning along his back. That's why we've held that one back. 
We've got some really nice new morphs um, of the Florida Cull Kings, um, which are going to be coming through in the future. We must do a video on that as well. Uh, this is a splotch Cinelone, a recessive mutation of the Cinelone. There's more info on this in our one of our older videos on the Cinelone Milk Snake. And then we have a Apricot Pueblin, just a, a very quick when they're young. Apricot Pueblin, um, some head scaleless corns. Going back. Another hit scaleless. And then over here we have Taiwanese rat snake. Really beautiful. Snow motley corn snake. Kenyan sand boa. Just love these guys. There's a harpo corn. Variable king snake. Just so beautiful. So yeah, variable king snake. And then the last two we have a caramel motley. It's in the blue knob. And then albino cinnalone. T minus albino cinnalone. Look how beautiful that is. So that's it for our some of our 2018 holdbacks. That's one of the racks. We have a couple like this, but I thought I'd just show you this one because uh, I'm very happy with all these babies that we're holding holding back. They're just really beautiful and very proud to have bred them here. And then just before we finish off, I just thought I'd have to, I have to show you this Florida King Snake. Uh, this is basically a uh, it's a T minus albino Harpo Florida King from a very high orange line which they've. Uh, named uh, Orange Aid Line, um, and just look at the colors of this Florida King Snake. It is just one of my favorite snakes. I'm super happy with this morph, and we can't wait to make more of them. So it's a T minus albino, which is a recessive gene, and then it's also a hypo, so it's a harbino, T minus harbino from an Orange Aid Line. And in my opinion, that is such a beautiful king snake. Florida Kings get nice and big, so you can just imagine when this is a full-size adult, it's going to look so impressive. Look at those oranges. And we can't wait to make more of these. Um, even just, I'm looking forward to making the straight T minus albino Florida Kings. What a beautiful snake. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed seeing some of those 2018 Colibrid holdbacks. Um, they're just really beautiful snakes, and I'm very proud uh, that we produced them here. And probably in a year or so, we'll, uh, they'll reach maturity, and then they'll have the opportunity to breed, uh, which is a very exciting and a very rewarding part um, of the process here. Um, but yeah, thanks, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, please don't forget to hit that like button, leave a comment below, and most importantly, please don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video. Keep well. Cheers.